Here's our tail of the tank for our third quarterfinal. Fourth ranked Jafar Wilness at number seven, Tomas Mosley. Wilness two and a half inches shorter and a half inch reach disadvantage. Looking at professional experience, the edge goes to Jafar Wilness. Slight KO percentage for Mosley, but the biggest difference here is the high level glory experience that Jafar Wilness has. My keys to glory for this bout, it's for Javar Willis to do what he does best. That's ring control, pressure, and when he's on the inside, he needs to change levels and add his low kicks, where Mosley wants to use his reach, use his front kicks, stay long, and make sure he really uses those straight attacks when you know Willis is coming forward. Here was the stare down after yesterday's weigh-in. Not a lot of bad blood between these two guys. Mutual respect. They know they're in for a tough fight either way. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this tournament quarterfinal is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a two-time WKN European and Grand Prix champion. As a professional, 20 wins with seven losses, one draw, and six career knockouts. He stands six feet seven and one half inches, 2.02 meters. And he weighed in to fight time at 259.7 pounds, 117.8 kilos. He fights tonight out of Poprock, Slovakia. Ladies and gentlemen, Tomas, the Slovakian giant, Mosny. His opponent fighting out of the white corner at China Super Heavyweight Tournament Champion. His professional record, 31 wins, 10 losses, one bout scored even, and eight career knockouts. He stands six feet five inches tall, 1.95 meters, and he weighed in at 250.9 pounds, 113.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Utrecht, the Netherlands, here is Jafar Wilman. The third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Big John Axwood. Okay, guys, you both know the rules. So on a clean fight. Break is break, stop is stop. Okay? A nice ovation for Jafar Wilness, who says, listen, Mosney is a dangerous puncher just like any heavyweight. I've got to be careful, but at the same time, I need to impose my will. Yeah, and imposing his will means to come forward and pressure and try to get in some good inside combination work. Already trying to control the ring and stay close. Good low kick to start things out for Mosny. Fighting out of Pop Rock, Slovakia. Drink. Step back. We saw him last night in the hotel, Joe, and what was he doing? He was drinking a beer. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a lot of fighters do. Either have a glass of wine or a beer before their fights. He said it's very important. He loves to have one beer the night before, and he was impressed with the fact that he could drink it in three seconds, which he showed us. It, it was impressive. Don't get in a drinking contest with Mosley. Or eating sweets. We saw him downtown, and he had three waffles, I believe. He's a big boy. He's had a history of back problems. Says he feels pretty good entering this tournament, though. Oh, nice shot, which kind of got Jafar Wilness off balance. Yeah, straight punches are going to do well against Great. Jafar coming forward. So, a good jab, some good knees on the inside. Or Jafar's got to mix levels, try to hit the body a little bit. Then go upstairs. Yeah, Wilness has got to get inside that long reach. Great. Step back. The plan for Wilness could be to kind of wear out the, the, the Mosney's by constantly staying in there, let Mosley punch off the guard. And then that's where Wilness can find his openings. He's absorbed a lot of shots so far, has Wilness. But he has proven in the past he's quite durable. Yeah, to, to beat someone like Wilness, you need to have a high output. You gotta keep hitting off the guard just like that. Try not to overpower things. Try to touch off the guard, try to set up the, a big power shot. Maybe an uppercut, some good knees. Nice left hook by Wilness. Didn't do Great. much after that. Move 
Wilna is fighting out of Coliseum Gym. They've got a brand new, fantastic facility down there in Utrecht. His brother, Jason Wilnes, a former Glory Middleweight Champion. Nice combination and level changes from Mosny. But Wilnes landed a hard left hook to the body. Another nice knee from Mosny. This has been his round so far. Yep, it's that activities that's winning him the round. But can he keep the pace in rounds two and three? Mosny complaining about a low bro. Wilnes going right after him and eats a right hand from Mosny. So a good start for the Slovakian giant. Yep, a lot of good pressure, good volume so far. Question is, can he maintain that pace? Let's take a closer look at the number four ranked heavyweight contender in glory, Jafar Wilnes. Survived what could have been a fatal infection when he had a blood clot in his lung back in 2017. And he likes riding dirt bikes. He says, don't tell any of my family members about that. We're sorry, Jafar, the word is out. His opponent, Tomas Mosny, the Slovakian giant. His fighting style is a lot of speed, strength, and determination. He's using that speed and combination work here. Six-time amateur champion in Slovakia. And he has a, a over a million views on the spin kick that he had in one of his earlier fights. So very dynamic for a big guy. Well, Willness has to get busy. Yep, he's got to keep pressuring. Keep putting those inside combination work together. We'll see the judges' scores in a minute, but I don't see how you could have given that first round to Wilnes. And there you have it, all five to Mosley, but Wilnes clearly coming out more aggressively. Yeah, and I think his best shot in that first round was that left hook to the body. So you can see him probably try to really put some power behind it. Wilnes in his glory debut announced his presence in the heavyweight division by beating Jamal bin Sadiq. In fact, he's done it twice, Joe. Yeah, and the second time was after he came back from his illness, and probably one of the best Jafar Wilnes performances I've seen. Oh, and there's a punch landed for Wilnes as he puts the pressure on. Oh, a nice right hand there from Wilnes. Yeah, putting all his weight behind it. Wilnes has some good power hooks. In the first round, Mosny just kind of kept Wilnes at a distance, but now he's just letting him kind of march in. Yeah, what I like from Wilnes is when he mixes his hooks and uppercuts together, especially on the inside. There's that one uppercut. Mike Tyson special a hook uppercuts. A much better round here for Wilnes. Oh, nice knee. Nice knee as Mosny throws his back up against the corner. Wilna is so nonchalant in there. Describe his style, Joe. Well, it's a it's a forward pressure style. He doesn't like to move. He won't go backwards. He gets his best work when he's close to you. Which, again, being the shorter fighter in this type of fight is what you need to do. Do you think he almost gave away that round to try and get Mosny to exert a lot of energy? Yeah, it could be. I mean, that we've seen that a few times with the Coliseum fighters. But I mean, right now, Mosley still seems to have some energy, but the power and the snap seems to be with Wilnes. Nice little question mark kick there for Mosley. Yeah, good combination work, too. He came in with a right, a right hook, follow knee. Good head movement by Wilnes to avoid some of those shots. Much better round two here for Wilnes. Yep, the pressure starting to pay off. Again with that switch knee from Wilnes. And he finished it off with an uppercut that just missed. So it was a must-win round for Wilnes, and it appeared he did it. Yeah, I think he did enough to win that round. 
I wouldn't be surprised if another judge gave it, but definitely a close round. Friday, February 1st, that's when we'll see you again. We lift off in Houston with Glory 63. Pre-sale begins on Monday at 9 a.m. Central Time. Go to glorykickboxing.com for exclusive pre-sale access. The main event, Petch Panamaron, the professor, defending his featherweight title for the first time against former champ, Sergey Adamchuk. See that flying switch knee that landed right through the guard. That was a clean landing shot, the way Mosny fell back against the ropes. Oh, yeah, beautifully timed. Came in with that flying switch knee. Continues with his pressure right away with his hands. You gotta wonder what would happen if he landed that knee in the middle of the ring instead of in the corner. Yeah, and you gotta think, judges could be scoring that pressure well. So I'm curious to see what they have it now. One gave it to Mosny, the other four to Wilness. So the winner of this third round wins the fight. Good knee to the body there for Wilness, who's again pressing forward. Yep, Mosny needs to try to fight his way out of those corners. Doesn't score well staying there. Good uppercut from Wilness as Mosny fights back. Now keep in mind, the winner of this hypothetically may have to fight two more fights tonight. What? Mosdy more active, but as far as strikes landed, very similar. Mosdy with two good low kicks, forcing oh, Willness to change stances. Big, big left, and we've got blood under the left eye now of Mosdy. Yeah, Willness switched stances from the low kick and then ended up landing a good left punch from the southpaw position. And now this appears to be back. shifting towards Jafar Willness. All the momentum in his favor now. Mosny seems to be running out of ideas. Just prodding forward is Jafar Wilness. Yeah, he won't go backwards. There was that Superman punch his kids warned him about, so he does one of his own. Yeah, he got in there to close the distance. No! Oh. He got hit with a little short punch. Debris barking instructions. Just over a minute to go. The winner of this fight gets Benjamin Attic Bowie next. Break, step back. Back and forth combination work. Is Wilness slowing down now? Nice jab. Spinning back fist attempt. Spinning back fist attempt as Mosny goes down. Half a minute to go. This round still up for grabs. Oh, good body shot from Mosny. Yeah, set up well with a nice jab. Oh, big overhand right from Wilness. Those are the power punches that score well with judges. Yep, we're looking for damage. Ten seconds to go. Nice knee from Mosny. Strong finish. And that will do it. Strong round three. Did Wilness do enough? We'll find out. The judges' scores when we return. We are back in Holland. Let's take a look at our third quarterfinal between Wilness and Mosny. Yeah, first round was Mosny really doing a good job being the busier fighter, hitting on the outside. Round two changed a little bit. We had Wilness really press forward. Here he landed that flying switch left knee, which was probably the best shot of that round. But that pressure started to add up for, for Wilness. Mosny spent a lot of time in the corners in the second and the third round, but third round, Wilness had a good, strong start, but as the fight went on, we saw Mosny continue to counter back, so it's gonna be interesting for the judges' score. Here's our strike count. Very, very similar as far as strikes landed. Mosny with nine more, 50 more thrown. 51, actually. Here's the decision now, Tim Hughes. 
Ladies and gentlemen, after three tournament rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. They score this bout 29 28, Wilness. 29 28, Mosney. And our three remaining judges also score the bout 29 28 for your winner by split decision. Now advancing to the tournament semifinal, Jafar Wilness. Go, Jafar Wilness gets that split decision win, and when I'm scoring that, it definitely comes down to the fifth criteria, which is aggression, and I think that forward pressure really paid off for him. But how much does he have left in the tank as Jafar Wilness now advances to the semifinals where he's got to face the number one seeded Benjamin Adigbu? 